So today I have two sewing makes that I will share with you right after the intro. Okay, so um, my first sewing make is Butterick 6625. And this pattern was um, made in the year of 2000. So I don't think it necessarily uh, will fall into the category of being vintage, but it is a, a much older pattern. And I really like it. I found it on Etsy and it's a skirt and it has gathers at the bottom. I really like long garments with um that gather somewhere I, I like that look so you might see some of those patterns or more of those patterns or garments made up in the future because i realized that those are garments that i like so what i really love about this skirt is the back so as you probably saw on the pattern the back has this little gathered area and it's made with buttonholes so you put buttonholes in the back and then you take the straps and you thread them through the holes and then it gathers and it creates this really cute little look in the back that I just adore. And this fabric is like a linen type of fabric. I don't know if it's real linen or not, or not and I can't remember where I purchased it. Maybe Joann's or something. But yes, yeah, so I like this skirt and I'm going to show you what it looks like on. Okay, so the next pattern is Simplicity 1589, and this is also an older pattern, and I just had it for a while and I never made it. What I decided to do was get a little creative with some denim scraps. So I had a pair of jeans and I actually cut a bunch of strips and I sewed them together. And once I got like a nice long piece, then I cut the uh, pattern out of that fabric so you you can see like a bunch of different patches here and there and different fabrics put together and this is the end result and this is the back of a pair of jeans where I cut off the pocket and in fact I put the pocket on one of my other shirts that I showed in a previous video so that's this is the remainder of that um, scrap denim fabric the only thing that I, I don't really care for with this uh, garment is the back kind of hangs not kind of it does it hangs and you know it could be that the fabric is just too stiff I'm not exactly sure but it does kind of hang and I don't really care for that but I won't let it stop me from wearing it I will continue or still go ahead and wear it and um, it does I don't know if I showed but it yeah I did show it does flap open in the back and I like that little feature so yes this is the little top made from some denim scraps it does have splits on the side and that is pretty much it so I will show you what this garment looks like on So before I go, I want to leave you with a love share. So my love share today has to do with bell peppers. So when picking out a bell pepper, you can turn the bell pepper over and you can look at the bottom to determine whether it is a male bell pepper or a female bell pepper, which I had no idea that bell peppers had a gender. So the bell peppers that have four bumps, those are female and they're sweeter, they're full of seeds and they're better for eating raw. And then the bell peppers that have three bumps, those are male and they are better for cooking. Had no idea. 
So yes, I wanted to share that with you because I thought it was very interesting and something that I learned recently. All right, so thank you for watching and you will see me in the next video.